It could be your daughters that fall victim to this. It could especially teens. Now, the fact that they have smartphones in their pockets combined with their propensity to share personal information online makes teen girls easy targets. And that's why it's important to get ahead of game changers like this. Uh, game changers? Really? Yeah, game changers. We can't fight these perps because we don't know if it's a close friend, the mailman, or someone living 2,000 miles away in a trailer. Right. But don't you think you might be giving them just a little too much credit? I mean, we got real criminals, real problems, just outside that. ...to fraud, mental abuse, and trauma. And most of the times, the perps get away with it. When are we supposed to go searching for these invisible criminals, hmm? Would that be after our double shifts, in between our daily online shopping? You know who says shit like that? People who are part of the problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gentlemen, that's enough. All right, go, go, go. Run. We're gonna be late. Just go, go, go. Say hi to mom. I caught you. Oh, hi, hey, mommy. Mm. Okay, don't miss the Have bus. Good day. You too. Hi, love. <sighs> hey, mom. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, breakfast is on the stove. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Have a good day. Chapter three, and we're gonna go through the homework. Uh, headphones off, Miss Lawrence. All right. Is there anyone who would like to volunteer to begin with the homework answers? All right. Who has an answer for me? Uh, we'll start from the top. Anybody want to volunteer for the first answer? This is so nice. Like, look at this color. Is that the one you were telling me about? Yeah, that's so nice. Oh, you literally just put it in. <laughs> Chill out. Oh, please. Don't go all high school musical on me. <laughs> what up, Lucy? You miss me? What did you say? I said, did you miss me? Hello? Whatever. You are one at the office. Did you just take a pic of me? Yeah. You kind of have this whole depressing beauty thing going on. So what'd they get you for? I don't know yet. You? Sleeping again? As if they make class so entertaining. Miss Coleman, my office. Wish me luck. Luck? I want you to look at these and tell me what you see. I see. You know what I see? I see two different Emmas. One who's driven and going places, and the Emma who skipped school, missed assignments, and stopped caring. Look, I know high school can be a difficult place, especially for girls like you. Girls like me? All I mean is that high school is a time when you want to express yourself. But with social media, sometimes how you present yourself can lead to gossip. Well, I already told you that... Somebody else made those posts, I know. Regardless, it proves that when you put yourself in those positions, things can get out of hand. The blank canvas where you get to choose which Emma you want to be. 
He wants me to do summer school. Well, that's not such a bad idea. Are you kidding me? Why not? Well, because I'd rather claw my eyes out than go anywhere near that school. Okay, well, honey, I just want to see you get back on track. I mean, freshman year, you loved school. I know things change, but come on, Em. I was nowhere near popular, and I managed to make a few friends. I mean, what's wrong with trying? But we had an agreement, no more bad grades, so I want you to... Em, honey. Shit. Where's your head? Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Be good. Okay, I, uh, I need to talk to you. I'll talk to you later. What? <gasps> the hell? Where did you get these? It's from Lake. Oh my god, this can't be happening again. Wait, has he done this to you before? Yes, but I thought it was being handled. Well, do you know who it is then? Have, have you spoken to him or seen him? No, no, and no. And keep your voice. Sending him those pics was a stupid mistake. He's, he's been messing with me, too. He's the one that hacked into my Facebook last semester and posted all that crap about me until I sent him photos of myself. I thought I was the only one. Wait, what do you mean it was being handled? I filed a complaint with some detective at the police station. They said they'd handle it, and honestly, that's all I care about. But they, they haven't... Look, I just want to drop this, okay? So whatever you do, just keep my name out of it, because if my parents find out, I'm dead. Will you at least tell me who you spoke to? Her name's Detective Holland. Sure, I promise I will. Good morning, Detective. Nice work on the South Street bus. Thank you, sir. A couple mistakes on your DD-5. The DA needs it fixed immediately. I will get to it. I have to make a quick house call. What time did you get in this morning? Um, six. Six? Yes. June, there's a pile of case files on your desk stacked a mile high. You're the best cop I have. I'm sitting right here, Bob. I know. You know it's okay to ask for help. I, I got it, sir. Really. I got it, Lou. Okay. Thank you for the food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Liv? Amen. What? You know better, no phones at the table. This is Morgan and the Greens. Mm. I'm going to stop by the pharmacy tomorrow. Didn't you just pick up a refill? I know. Feels like they're going quick, but it's been a few weeks. Well, this looks great. Thank you. No, thank you. Excuse me? I'm, I'm looking for Detective Holland. Oh, she's not in. What can I help you with? Um, I need to file a complaint. Hey, Ross. Yeah? Can you help this young woman here? She needs to file a complaint. Uh, yeah. So, what's this about? Uh, someone is harassing me. Online. 
online? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you see that office just over there? Mm-hmm. You see that seat right in front of it? Just in that chair in the front. We'll have someone come over and talk to you real soon. Just... Okay. Yeah, just over there. I do so appreciate you dropping by, Pastor Carter. Of course. Of course. Please, to help with the church. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Thank you, Mrs. Morgan. I suppose we can expect Olivia to follow in her father's footsteps and become a leader of the town one day? Absolutely. She's a model student as well. I'm trying to be valedictorian of her class. Shall we get started with an opening prayer? Yeah, actually, just have. You said he would ask for explicit photos of you? Yeah, his blackmail. Who told you to come talk to me? Um, it was Olivia Carter. Carter. Yeah. Do you know the name of the person doing this to you? Mm-hmm. He goes by Blake. Oh, no. There are two reports filed. It looks like this Blake might be a serial predator. Hi, I'm here to... Dad, cops are here. Gabby's in trouble again. So this has nothing... Gabby did. I'm here about the harassment complaint you filed. Harassment complaint? Gabby? Hey, some jerk was messing with me online, and then he hacked into my email and was sending insane things to everyone in my contacts. And... He said he wouldn't stop unless I sent some photos. Photos? Like your professional stuff? Explicit photos. Jesus, Gabby. I didn't know what to do. I just really wanted to get rid of him. And that made the most sense to you? Send photos of yourself? I don't know. I know this is a complicated situation, but actually overlooked as an isolated incident. Whoever this person is, he's harassing other girls in town. There's other girls? Yeah. You're not the only one. Thank you for coming in today. All three of you have filed harassment complaints regarding the same person, and I want to find them. So what do you need from us? Well, my goal is to find factors that will lead to a suspect. If this Blake person targeted all three of you, then maybe there's a connection with each of you. So you all go to Haney Regional, correct? Hobbies, after-school activities, clubs. Well, what about outside of school? Do girls go to the same places? I do school council, or I'm at church and doing family visits. I'm a preacher's kid. What do you expect? Well, I actually have real hobbies. I'm usually outside doing street photos. Um, I work at the hardware store after school, or I'm just, like, taking care of my younger siblings. Is there anybody at school that would give you reason to think they would do something like this? Haters. Literally all the boys. Okay. Something about him that drew you into a relationship. How did that happen? First, um... 
I don't know, we kind of just started talking and he was flirting, so I was flirting back. And then he saw the work that I upload online and asked for more of myself. And it wasn't really anything serious, but we bonded. And so when he asked for a nude, I just sent it. I thought he was kind of hot, at least based off the photo. He was the one who sent me a dick pic first, so I thought, oh, it's the harm of giving him a tease, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I, I just thought that I found someone that, you know, actually loved me. I know it's dumb, but I shared things with him that I never shared with anyone. It was like he, um, like she's mother. Were you only? And I guess I just thought that if I if I didn't send the pics then it wouldn't have been real. You have enough info to find him? We keep saying him, but how do we know it's not a she? I mean it could be anyone, right? Yeah, that's right. It, yes. It's it's not a girl. How do you know? Oh uh, I don't know, I can just a feeling, I guess. Oh, great. You have a feeling. Mm. All right. It's most likely that... that Blake is a man. But we're not going to rule anything out. I know this is a lot. Um, let's just take a break. Three teenage girls in there, and for the life of me, I can't find a single commonality between them. They all go to the same school, don't they? Yeah, but that literally means nothing to these kids. They're teenage girls. Just going at their level. Get on the inside. Okay. I want to know about Haney Regional. Take me through your day-to-day. -day. I want to understand the culture. Uh, well, it's hell. Especially if you're a girl. Why is that? The rumors, the, the slut shaming. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Tell me more. Are you? I take all my cases seriously. I just mean this isn't the first time I've come here for help. I need to make sure that something's going to be done about it because of my parents. Just it wouldn't be good if anything got out. Olivia, this isn't going to be an easy road. But it's going to be harder if you don't tell your parents yourself. I just need to know that you're real. I'm real. We'll see. You wish I was more like Henry. Don Gabby, I don't wish you were your brother, okay? But he... Certainly is more obedient. And yeah, you know what? That makes my life easier. I'm trying to do my best by you and your brother, but... Ah. What? I don't know. Maybe I give you too much freedom. You slack off in school, you get detention at every chance, and then all you do is fumble around with this photography stuff instead of getting serious about your future. Are you kidding me? This photography stuff is my future. Because I'm really good at it and I'm very passionate about it. So just because I'm not the like Disney Channel kid they- Showing again. Let's just get through this, okay? Yeah. Oh good. Yeah. You're here, you work late. Yeah. Okay, kids in bed by nine. I'll see ya. Mom? Yeah. Um, I wasn't at work. I was at the police station. Why were you at the police station? How could you not tell me all this time? I'm sorry. I just, I didn't know how. I mean, you're always working and tired. And, and the last thing that I wanted to do means is to act like nothing's changed or it'll look really suspicious to Blake. Blake, I want to know who this bastard is. This is why your grades are slipping, isn't it? This is why you're struggling in school. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Okay, well, I'm just, I'll take the rest of the week off. Well, that's exactly what I didn't want. I don't care, Emma. I am talking to everyone. I'm talking to Detective Holland, to Principal Monroe. I need some answers. But, Mom, we don't have any answers right now. Well, I, would, I need something. I, I can't help you if you don't talk to me. Mom, this isn't your fault. Okay, my job to protect my daughter. And I can't do my job if I am in the dark. Is that everything? I'm sorry. I gave naked photos of myself to a guy I met online. Why would you do that, Olivia? I don't know, maybe because I'm a slut who's desperate for attention. Liv, why are you still up? No computers after 10, remember? Yeah, I'm just finishing this assignment for school. I'm almost done, promise. 10 minutes, then lights out. What's all this? About time you came home. You can get dinner started. When we agreed I would move in, you knew I wasn't a cook. Well, I'm just saying it'd be nice if my daughter didn't subject me to take out meals for once. You mean your daughter, who's the only detective in town and barely has time for a sit-down dinner? That daughter? Dad, in the garden. Oh. I know that face. Want to talk about it? You should have seen the way this affected them. He crushed their spirit. It feels really messy. Is this even something that Petey is capable of handling? You mean, is this something I'm capable of handling? Well, what does anyone really know about this kind of stuff? Dad, this Blake person, he's going to target more girls if I don't do something. Look, all this is over my head, but if it's computer stuff you need help with... No. Mm -mm. My job is not one of your hobbies. Not me. You enrolled in that web design class that, of course, you did not stick with? Well, that teacher is a whiz. Sharp as a nail. I need a cybersecurity specialist, not some community college professor. Mm hmm Finley? In the flesh. You're the cyber expert. That's me. Well, I'm a TA and teach night classes. He's just my thing, actually. But I gotta be honest, I'm not really too fond of cops, detectives. Uh, <laughs> teaching those night classes wasn't exactly by choice. It's more a condition to keep my ass out of juvie from back in the day. Okay, well, I could really... Maybe? I'm good. But your dad was the nicest person in my class a few months back, so I'm really happy to do him a favor. It's too bad to drop the course. Yeah, he has a habit of uh, not sticking with hobbies. No offense. <laughs> None taken. And plus, he mentioned something about a hacker, and, well, I like a challenge. Well, I imagine it'll be just that. In November 2008, Barack Obama defeated John McCain in the federal election to become the 44th president of the United States. Because I'm a slut who's desperate for attention. 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 Because I'm a slut. What's the meaning of this? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Looks fine to me. It's probably just a glitch. These programs can get finicky with the audio, but it sounds like it was hilarious. Does it look like I'm laughing? Whoa, chill. What's up with you? A lot. There's just so much drama with my mom. I don't do family drama. 
just need something to take the edge off. I got it. I hear you, detective. I, I really do, but we can't control what these kids do when they go home and get on their computers. Well, that may be Principal Monroe, but it seems the culture at Haney seems to be a part of the problem. And what culture happening? And I'm assuming these students reported this to someone before bringing it to your attention? They did. Good. Well, feel free to give me the names of the faculty and I'll sort this with them. It was you and a counselor, Mr. Klein. Nothing was done and that's why they came to me. Detective, teenagers say things and send things online. It's impossible to track who says this or who sends what. These young women willingly share things and end up regretting it. The consequences of that are messy. We simply can't control that. So I'll ask one last time. What is it happening under your roof bleeds into sexual harassment? If you had daughters, it would be a shame if they needed help. I have sons. Yeah, that much is clear. Blake has to be using a message software. What do you mean? Uh, like a text app. Subscribers can use an endless amount of numbers to contact someone, including numbers that have already been registered. So even if one number is blocked, you can just pick a different one to use. This guy lives underground. Underground? This is a person who would hide and be on the deep. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah, I think our best bet is finding his IP address. What is that? Like a fingerprint for any computer or phone. Every time Blake visits a website, that device's IP address is recorded along with data of when and where he visited those sites. So if we find his IP address... We find him. Or at least his general whereabouts, maybe registration information. Okay, and I'm guessing these records are highly private. Meaning I have to issue a subpoena. What's wrong with that? Sam's subpoenas take time. And if he's looking to harass more people, then we're giving him the perfect window. So you still don't eat the crust? So what? I know what I like. Mm. Well, it's just a waste is all. I sense there's some kind of history. The frenemy vibe is a little bit strong. <sighs> there's no beef. We were friends, then we grew up, and we grew apart. Simple as that. Well, that's... You iced me out. Okay. Um, look, beef or not, I'm just... Honestly glad that I found you guys because these past few weeks have been miserable. Consider yourself lucky. I've had to deal with this asshole for two whole months. What about you, Emma? Since May. Is it last year? Yeah. Hey. Every time I blocked one of his numbers, he contacted me back with a new one. Same. Until now, we thought we were the only ones. And I doubt... It's a good idea. Okay, 1996. Do you guys have anyone like that? I, I don't think, I, think I, do. so. I don't think that I have two four eights. No, wait. No, the last four digits are different. No, it's not the same. I don't have any 800s. So there's not a single match between us. How the hell is he doing this? Gabby. What's going on? I just have a lot on my plate. No, oh, Gabby. I'm not buying it. You haven't even developed a film from your last two assignments. I haven't gotten the right shots yet. I can only recommend one person for the Rhode Island summer program. This is not the Gabby that I know. You're sleeping in class, forgetting assignments. Do you want to realize your potential? Or do you want to just sit around Haney all summer? 
because the Gabby that I know wouldn't let whatever's holding her back stop her from doing what she loves. Okay? investigation of her own? I know I can't continue to feel like someone's preying on me all the time. Anyone in there can be Blake, and all I'm saying is the three of us can figure out a way to fight back. Who says we should? I mean, what if we interfere with Holland's investigation? We won't. Holland's on her own, but she's not the one who has to go to school all the time. Aren't you guys tired of feeling like you have no control over your life? Okay, I'm in. Emma? We can. We're running the risk of him leaking worse things. What's worse than leaking news? Which, by the way, he might do anyways. Look, you guys do what you want. Believe me out of it. Whatever you guys have planned, I want to do it. Okay, you're kind of killing me with the back and forth. No, I know. I know. I'm sorry that I bailed. I was just, I was in my head about this. But Gabby, I am tired of playing his games. Okay, so you swear you're good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I'll tell Liv, and then all we need is more reinforcement. At first, I thought it was someone from school because he seemed like he knew me. Like, sometimes it felt like he knew where I was or what I was doing. I was so freaked, I couldn't even sleep alone anymore. I really think we can help if you're interested. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it's not just me. It is. I'm down to join. Thanks. See you. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. I tried telling Principal Monroe about it, but all she did was accuse me of being reckless and irresponsible. And trust us. We get it. And we're sick of waiting for something to be done. Whatever y'all are doing, I'm in. Yes, I'm looking for some information on a device registered to your company. Detective, you need to see what's in the comments room. Let me call you back. These are the girls like us. The girls who aren't willing to take any more shit from Blake. I don't believe it. How? how? We took our key from you. They just needed someone who would listen, you know? Someone who was real.
Come on in. I'm sorry I didn't give you everything sooner. That's okay, but why didn't you give me these? Because I, I wasn't lying when I said I met him online. I just... I thought that the person that I was in a relationship with was a girl. I see. Well, and, and I figure, since there's so many of us now, and they all put themselves on the line for me, I, I, I thought that I could, like, live two lives. I could just be the real me. No one here ever had to know. I just feel dumb. No. What's dumb is some jerk posing on an LGBTQ site trying to take advantage of young girls. You should never have to apologize for who you are. You're the only one who seems to think that. Because that's not the case. Not in here. The power you think people have over you doesn't exist. I'll be damned. He's local. What? What are you talking about? Here he is, posing as a girl named Tiffany to get close to Emma. When she figured out it's Blake, she confronts him. Look at their exchange at the end. If you don't tell me who you are, I'll go to the police. Tiffany, hi, you're dumber than I thought. If you think the police actually care about community, honor, or service, do it, I dare you. What does any of this have to do with the potential suspect from Haney? Community, honor, service. That's Haney's PD's mantra. Who else would know that unless you live here? Blake is from Haney. Detective. What? Mm. Says who? Says me. And the pile of unfinished cases that are on your desk. And the fact that it's been weeks since this all started. And you have nothing to show for it. We just got a lead. Do you have a name? Right. I need you on other cases. Lieutenant, these girls need me on Holland. this. We can't be there for every he said, she said teenage squabble that happens online. Come in. Sorry to interrupt. This came in for you, Detective. Thank you. We're not shutting this down. Holland. And there it is. I subpoenaed. So our suspect could be any one of the names on this list? Yes, but now we know he's local. All we have to do is find the person on the list who lives in Haney. All right, find him. I got the names. Great. The only name in Haney, Nathan Riley. Got you. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to send you over my best guy. You too. You have a good day. you're here. A little late, but come on in. Okay, thanks. We have reason to believe Blake is a young man named Nathan Riley. He's 19 years old. He vice is registered in his name. Serious? I used to know him. My dad was his little league coach. I thought he'd be like an old man or something. He was a senior when we were freshmen. Girls, we have to keep this under wraps. He cannot know that we're on to him. Why? If you know who he is, why can't you arrest him? Because what we don't have is proof that Nathan is actually the person physically behind the screen. Now, as much as I pleaded, the judge refuses to believe that we have enough evidence to issue a warrant. So we're stuck. There is another option. We wait. Wait for what? For the opportunity to collect more evidence that would actually prove that Nathan is the guy that would put him away for years. But that option requires more time. Well, how much more time? 
How much longer do we have to put up with this? It's hard to say. That is why I wanted the three of you to have the opportunity to decide. Take the weekend. But either way, I will only wait if the decision is unanimous. We now know who it is. I guess. Guys, look, come on. As obnoxious as it sounds, my dad's always talking about finding the good in everything. Which is what exactly? Hello? The three of us. We're still here and we're still fighting. Okay, you guys aren't extremely terrible. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it's nothing. Okay, it's, it's from a really long time ago. I've been taking pills. Not like all the time or anything, but ever since this whole Blake thing started, I've been so anxious all the time. My friend was saying about how it'll calm you down, just slow everything down. So, you know, I, I tried it. Well, this is weird, but I can't actually. without having a panic attack or a night terror. And it just feels like being paranoid is my new life now. So you guys aren't the only ones struggling. But we have each other now, right? What are you doing? Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. See you next week. Yes. Hi. Thank you. Thank it's you for speaking. You thank you so much. Week. Oh, could you go see who that is? I got it. Thank you. Good morning, Haney Baptist Church. Hello? Knock, knock. Who is this? A sinner, like you. Emma, I've been calling for you. Need you to get the... Can I help you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Emma, 
Emma, hey. We made a decision. We're done with his games. We're done with Nathan controlling our lives. He came to my work and followed me through the store. All right, I'll make the arrest. No. No, that is why we want you to find everything you can, and we want you to bury him for good. You've got my word. I want to go round of Rousey on his ass. <laughs> Lord knows we tried everything short of being on that new catfish show on MTV. <laughs> well, speaking of which, I guess there's no need for that fake profile we tried to make. Guess not. Want to do the honors? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you guys remember the password we made for this? I have no clue. Just answer the security questions. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, okay. Gabby, what was the name of your first dog? Pepper. I'm just a little bit offended that you forgot, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, really, Emma, do you even know us at all? It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's like, <let's> talk about it. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, that's how we did it. Did what? Nathan knows this town. He knows us like the back of his hand. What if he's been able to hack into our accounts by correctly answering the security questions and guessing the passwords? I mean, how many times has he asked us about our favorite color or the music we're into or childhood memories? This has to be how he's doing it. Yeah, but every time? We've all had to set up new questions for every time. How did he find that out? I don't know, but how else could he have done it? The door swings both ways, doesn't it? I mean, we know him. Yeah, so? And now we know that Blake is really Nathan, so we know a lot of stuff about him, and we've picked up a lot during our conversations. If you're thinking what I'm thinking... <laughs> I'm thinking if we have to wait months for justice, who says we can't give him a taste of his own medicine? What do we say? I don't know. Okay, um... <laughs> so just say bibbity wobbly bitch. Come back. <sighs> He's a bitch. Payback is a bitch. Wouldn't you like to know? How does it feel? To know that I'm smarter than you. Smarter than you. Smarter than you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Olivia, come in here, please. I got a call from Miss Morgan. She told me she was missing medication from her bathroom. Olivia Carter, look at me. I almost went to town on this woman at the nerve of her suggesting you took them. And then I found these. Are you out of your mind? What could possibly compel you to sell pills? I'm not selling. I'm taking them. It's no excuse, but I was stressed all the time. And I couldn't talk to you about it. I couldn't tell you what was going on. What do you mean? What's going on? These AP classes. I promise I'm not taking them anymore. You're damn right you're not. Nor will you continue to lie under this roof. Do you understand how dangerous this is? Every time you took one of these was a gamble. I'm sorry. Nathan, get in here. Take a seat. Now, 
there's no need to beat around the bush on this. I'm letting you go. Why? I've gotten calls from clients. You show up late, you go missing for periods of time. I'm willing to overlook all that because you're the best guy I got. But, yeah. And there's... So, I'm going to ask you to clean out your cubby. What? Uh, I didn't write this. No, you know, I need this job. Yeah, it's just not going to work. That's a week's pay, including a full work day for today. I'm not done with this. Then make an arrest and it will be. We got another case. Emma Lawrence. Who? Emma Lawrence was sitting right out there. Just sitting and waiting, and everybody went by her as if she was invisible. We can't do this to them. They deserve better from us. June, make an arrest. Close the case. They're here. Sam, I hope you know how grateful I am for you. We have to go through all these, don't we? Every single one. Facebook, Amazon, Skype, AOL, Google. Our best chance to prove that Nathan is guilty is in one of these boxes. Except first, we just have to sort through each file, match his IP address to time and date stamps, then match that to his location information and hope to God there's a connection to his whereabouts. Yeah. Oh, let's get to work. Let's go. That's what is it that he's trying to say? With the jungle. Because that really is what the heart of the dark is. Hey, isn't this you? Right? So, think about this. What does the heart of the darkness represent? Right? What is it? What is its meaning? What does the jungle mean? Watch it, Dyke. Detective Holland. What? Got it, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, he went from misdemeanor to felony for distribution of underage pornography. I want his ass now! I had to tell you guys. I did. I just I didn't know how. Our phone is ringing off the hook. The church inbox is flooded with emails, and now the assistant pastor has to take over. We raised you to be truthful. But not about stuff like this. When you're the preacher's daughter, how can you expect to be an example on this town if their child is involved in something like this? We don't care about this town. We care about you, Liv. I'm sorry. And fight for myself. And that's what I was trying to do. I was the first to say something. I was the first to go to the police. And we're proud of you for that. But it's our job to fight for our daughter and we couldn't do that because you lied and kept things from us. Dad. Say something. Gabby. 
Gabby. Oh. Okay. It's okay. 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 We understand. Thanks, Holland. Holland said they have Nathan in questioning. Good. I can't believe my dad let me out tonight. My dad won't even talk to me. But honestly, we should be out tonight. We can't let this stop us. What about Emma? Has she said anything? I don't know, I'll check. No, nothing. Doesn't make sense, she's always on time. No. Every few steps, you fall right back down. But for hours, you just pick yourself up as though nothing even happened. And I said to myself, I am so lucky. My little girl is so strong and so tough. me about Blake. Don't know who that is. Sure you do. Why'd you create the profile? What profile? The one you used to befriend and manipulate the girls into giving you personal information so you can hack into their account and use it as blackmail. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that so? Because with all the evidence we have, you're liable to be charged with interstate threats. Aggravated identity theft, computer fraud, and, oh, anything coming back to you? Let's talk about Mr. Richardson. That's your neighbor, right? And there's also Carol, your sister's neighbor. We know that Blake uses all their Wi-Fi when interacting with the girls online. That's an awfully weird coincidence that they all have a connection to you, don't you think? You could make this easy on yourself. It's got the wrong guy. We'll see about that. Please tell me you got something on his phone. He wiped everything. No messages, no search history. He knew we were coming. <laughs> You're one tomato dad? Really, you shouldn't have. Would have had more of those squirrels hadn't ravaged the rest. So we'll make do. That is one damn good tomato. Indeed. <laughs> I was hoping. 
I just want these girls to finally have some peace. You'll get him. You always do. So I wanted to capture the young women of Haney and, you know, like the real of it. So it's different for everyone, but it's beautiful. Oh, spectacular, Gabby. <laughs> oh, I like this one. This one's my favorite. This is beautiful. Me too. Yeah, it feels good to be home. But I just wanted to say thank you guys, you know, for being there. Yeah, of course. Um, I think... with. I told you before, I will always own you. So I panicked and then I deleted my account and then that's when he spoke to me. It has to be him. Yeah, it sounds like a virus or some type of malware, but it just, it doesn't make any sense because when the heck would he... Wait, go back to the beginning. Which beginning? The first time your Facebook was hacked. Take me step by step what happened. So once I realized he hacked my account, I messaged the privacy support team to report it, and then I deleted my account. And then a few hours later, they emailed me this link to re-download the app before creating a new profile. Yeah, same here. Yeah, me too. I mean, that's, that's what I did. We got played. What do you mean? Nathan hacking their social medias was only a portion of his move. He didn't just hack their profiles, he hacked your entire devices. There are different ways hackers can admit with the purpose of getting you to click on the link. And when you do, a malware is installed. It gives them complete access to all of your data and the entire device. That's microphone, cameras, stored data, everything. Facebook didn't send you guys that email. That was Nathan. He knew that if he masqueraded himself as a security member of the Facebook team, he would trust it and click on the link. So what do we do? I thought we seized all of his devices. We did. Well, unless he's using the local IP addresses we ruled out before. If he is still in Haney, the chance that he's using one of the same Wi-Fi's as before is high. If that's the case, I'm betting one of those local IP addresses we ruled out belongs to a device we didn't even know existed, like a secondary phone or laptop. Got it. Tracking him now. Got him. That's gotta be it. I need a team. I'm on it. Keep tracking him. Yeah, you got it. There. I'm on it. All this time, he was keeping track of us like the back of his hand. Our conversations, our whereabouts, all of it. He was spying on us like animals. I just really hope Detective Holland puts an end to all of this. She will. She has to.
The rest of the house is clear. It's like nobody lives here. Where the hell could he be? He's not here. What? He's rerouting his IP address off multiple servers at once. What? He must have found a way to signal his location off of different servers as a decoy. He's manipulating the grid to camouflage his true location. I gotta see if I can track him. He's trying to run. Set up a perimeter. No one is leaving town until they go through a channel. <laughs> This is a person who would hide and be on the defense rather than the offense. But if you look hard enough, they're usually hiding right under your nose. He wiped all of his drive ahead of time so his computer doesn't give us much ammo. We just gotta wait on the FBI crime labs and hopefully they can dig deeper. And so he's got another device sitting in here somewhere. So no phone, no tablet, no flash drives, no nothing. We have to find something to hold him and prove he violated the court orders and contacted the girls. There's a crack in this gaming console. There's something in here. Emma Lawrence, would you please come up to the stand and read your victim impact statement? I didn't exactly know what I would say coming up here. But I'm here. And I'm still standing. There was a time when I wished I was invisible, when I felt so small that I just wanted to disappear. But I'm standing here because I want everyone to see me for who I am. A daughter, a sister, a fighter, not your victim. You tried to break me, but I became stronger. You tried to silence me, but I found my voice. You tried to hold me back, but you couldn't. You couldn't because whatever amount of power you thought you had over me, well, it doesn't exist. You manipulated us betrayed our trust and used our most intimate and vulnerable secrets against us. And you didn't care. Because girls like us, but we're not your victims. We're strong. And we're resilient. And for the rest of your life, you'll regret that you ever messed with girls like us. Thank you, Miss Lawrence. 
You may leave the stand when you are ready. Defendant, please rise. Federal Penitentiary. Not too shabby. I think it'll do. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm good. I'm really good, actually. I mean, it'll take some time, but I'm in therapy, and I'm getting through it. Thanks to you. You don't have to thank me. I should be thanking you. Your bravery changed this town, and it actually changed me, too. Thank you. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> 